Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Brad's Bourbon Reviews. I'm Brad. And I'm Holly. Today we have something pretty special. I've been looking forward to this because I recently did a TikTok over uh, on TikTok, duh, at Brad's Bourbon Reviews and I did it from Disney World at my birthday dinner mm -hmm. where I had a cocktail um, that was made with Uncle Nearest, small batch. And I, I had already tried it at one point. I really liked Uncle Nearest small batch. Um, I was actually a guest on a podcast called the Whiskey Lodian Podcast with my friend Ty. And this is what we drank on the show. The premise of the show is you just drink and talk about old Nick Jones. So it's, it was awesome. Um, so that, that was my first experience with this Uncle Nearest. And I've been talking it up, talking it up, talking it up to you. Mm -hmm. And you're, you tried it in the cocktail, but it had pineapple juice. It was a pretty elaborate cocktail. It's not like it was an old fashioned. We could kind of you know, still taste the spirit. So today I go to Sam's after work and I got us a Uncle Nearest 1884, mostly because it was on clearance. Mm -hmm. um, it usually, this bottle is usually around 35, 40 bucks. It was on sale for 20 bucks. So I grabbed one. Um, if you like it, we'll go grab some more. Uh, I really, really like Uncle Nearest. Um, I don't know a ton about it other than the fact that it's named after Uncle Nearest who was like a slave distiller who helped Jack Daniels with whiskey production. Um, it's done in Kentucky, or I'm sorry, it's done in, I'm so used to saying Kentucky. It's done in Tennessee, that Tennessee method. I like Tennessee whiskey a lot. I'm, a, I'm actually a pretty big Jack Daniels fan. Um, so I've described this to you as like a more refined Jack Daniels. So I know I like it. I'm more curious what you think on this. Yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and crack this bad boy. Well, it what says on the back, it's still distilled today by his great, great granddaughter. Oh, that's awesome. That's pretty so cool. So his great, great granddaughter is the master distiller? Yeah, it says she was Whiskey Magazine's 2021 master distiller of the year. That's freaking awesome. Okay. So that family legacy is cool. I like stuff like yeah. that when it comes when it comes to whiskey and bourbon. So let's go ahead and crack it open. This is gonna be, this looks hard to open. <laughs> Oh, there we go. They're perforated. Every, if you're listening to this whiskey industry, make all of them like this. All of them should have that little perforated point. It makes it so much easier. Okay. Ooh, that was a nice little pop. I'm so curious to see what you think about this. It's going everywhere. All right, let's see what we got here. I thought you did Jefferson's when you did this. Uh, no, I tried Jefferson's, but on the show, this is what we were like drinking on the show. So. Ooh, that smells really good. It smells good. really nice. It smells very maple. It smells like syrup. First known effort, very maple-y. Mm -hmm. And it's very sweet. It what was that hot. smell? No, 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 I just had a smell that was like, like almost like a lemon or something. There's a, mm. like a lemon, oh, it's a lemon pound cake. That's what I'm smelling. Oh, that's lemon pound cake. You don't get that at all? Oh my God. Yeah. It's like the zest of a lemon and super sweet, so it makes me think of like a lemon pound cake. Wow, that's interesting. Ready? Um, yeah, what, what, what other nose nuts are you getting on that? Not lemon, not citrus. Do you see why I mean it kind of smells like Jack Daniels? Yes. It kind of tastes like Jack Daniels too, from what I remember. Mm. You don't like it, I can tell already by your face, you're not a fan. It's very woody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very woody. Okay. Yeah, that's the it overwhelming note better. on this was, I, I agree it does smell better, but I still like this quite a bit. Do you? Yeah, I do. I really do, actually. It um, burns on the tongue, which I well, would it's, not it's pretty high proof, so it comes in at 93 proof, so it's not, it's not nothing. I mean, there's definitely yeah. some proof in there. It's not like overwhelming proof, but uh, it's got some bite to it, for sure. I really like this a lot. The nose is better, I will say, than the, mm -hmm. than the palate. It doesn't taste anything like the nose. I like it. It's very earthy. Mm -hmm. That's um, a good way to put it. But um, So what do you like better, like this or Jack Daniels better? Now remember, Jack is 80 proof, so Jack is very I cut. I like Jack better. You do? Yeah, without a doubt. I still like Jack better. Jack's got like some nostalgia to it for me. Jack um, is a little sweeter. Definitely a little sweeter. But they are very close. <laughs> they're really? very, they're very close. Like in flavor, I think they're very close. I mean, if you had Jack at this proof, I mean, they do, that's the Sinatra, right? The Sinatra is 90 proof, so this is even higher proof than the Sinatra Jack would be. Um, I like it a lot. I think it's really good. And especially, you know what? We, should we do the Coke test? Yeah. Why Since it's not? basically Jack and Coke. Add some Coke into that. Our dog's yelling at us. Is it good? Do you still get that like grassy, woody undertone? It's very earthy. Yeah. Um, I, I understand why someone wouldn't like this. 
This isn't something that I would want all the time, but it's really, really good. I love you. All right, that's it. Uh, Uncle Nearest 1884 small batch. Pretty solid. Uh, honestly, nothing to write home about, personally. Um, but I could see why anyone would really like this, and I can also see why anyone would really dislike this, because it is very earthy. But um, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Until then, cheers.